My favorite part is that to me it's the community green on Saturday where everyone comes together and they meet and this happens at our winter market and the summer market and you can meet people, you get your breakfast, you get your lunch, you hear great music, you get incredibly fresh produce that changes throughout the season and now we've been teaching 14, we've been hosting 14 um, cooking demos so you learn how to prepare the foods and preserve them for year round. So. It's a place for all sorts of things. There is no favorite thing. <laughs> I come to the market every weekend that I can just to uh, see what they have for different foods and uh, to meet the people. I have been coming to the farmer's market since I was born and I love coming here because there's great food. I get to see people I see every Saturday and um, because my wonderful friend Molly makes jewelry and she is great at it and it's a great way to, it's good on your, looks good on your resume if you sell things here and it's fun and you make money and yeah. I am a crafter and an artisan so I sneak in because a lot of people there are t-shirts and things other than produce. Um, which is a nice balance because Montpelier sort of prides itself on not being exclusively produce. Um, we've got a multifaceted market, which is great. Yeah. My favorite part You're of the welcome. Montpelier's farmers market is the hands-on. You can you have access to the growers oh, and the manufacturers. They're here to answer all your questions. And easy to do. It's not. A wall. Even for you, it's if you have a food down to earth. And it's one of the best things, farmers market you know, in the state, I think. Turn on BPR. Uh, it's a festival. Away. The food is fresh. The That's products are fantastic. But the knowledge you can receive from these people is unlimited. Like unlimited. The community. The, it's a very uh, supportive community. The, it's really a rain and shine. People is here all the time, and so that's what it really makes this market nice. And it's a lot of variety too. People come here. Spend, you know, they, they they buy the product, they spend the money locally, and that helps the local co the economy. And at the same, you know, money stays here in Montpelier and around it, the, the towns around it. And that's what farmers market is all about. I love the market. I've been I've been a vendor for six years now, but I've been coming ever since it was over at the courthouse. It's worked out good. And to me, it's just a great place to be to, to meet meet up with friends and talk to people. And the food is so good, and you get the music, and just it's so much fun just being here. You know, getting to see all the different people. We I've sold baskets as far away as Australia. People, you know, come from all over. In Japan, we've had people from Japan buy our our bowls and baskets and. Last time we were here, someone from Ireland was here, and it's just, it's just so much fun to be here. So when I first came to Vermont, everyone joked about zucchinis and said you should keep your door, your windows closed in August because you're going to get all the zucchini you could ever possibly want. And after years of learning how to do uh, zucchini relish and zucchini everything, I've, I've narrowed it down into my three favorites. The one is this uh, vegan. Uh, gratin. And the other is this dish that we're going to make right now, which is a 
zucchini uh, O'Brien. So first of all, we're just going to heat up some oil till it's uh, simmering and nice and hot. And then we're going to add a little bit of Spanish onion. Excuse me while I grab some more. And so you can put as much onion as you like or dislike. We just want it to heat through so it's translucent. And then we'll add all of our other ingredients. So for the O'Brien, what I uh, you could put anything that you want in it. I usually serve it at breakfast time, although it makes a great dinner, starch and vegetable. Um, I have uh, diced potatoes, uh, our beautiful diced zucchini, diced red and green peppers. Excuse me. It's also onions and corn. Yes. So we have local corn. Yay. We want to try as often as, uh, as possible when we're cooking to use seasonal ingredients. So those are two that work together, as well as the peppers. Um, and I used a little bit of olive oil and canola oil. And the only sweetness is from the corn? The only sweetness is from the corn and, and, and the peppers. The corn is pre-cooked, the potatoes are pre-cooked, and the zucchini uh, is cut up small enough that you don't need to pre-cook that, but you could if you wanted to. So the onions are done here, and we're going to add our zucchini because it needs to cook a little bit. And the recipe has uh, full amounts. This is probably enough to serve uh, quite a few people, four, four five, six people at a uh, dinner party. Or if you're going to a potluck and you need to do something with that zucchini, this is a great opportunity yeah, to do that. People won't know that it's a baseball-sized zucchini. Exactly. Baseball bat size. If you cut it up, no one will know how big it was when you... Uh, <laughs> Just think of it this way, you'll have a great deal more, uh, more green surface area than you might otherwise have. So we have our zucchini in, I'm going to add my potato. So that can be leftover potatoes. Yes, it actually could be a baked potato that you've done before, or, or a steamed potato. And then we're going to add a little bit of red onion and green onion. And I like to, um, I like onion, I mean I have pepper, so I, I'm, uh, we're going to put a good bit of that in. And also, it's a nice color combination, too. Yes. This is the gratin, which is on the back. The vegan gratin. This is the corn, uh, the zucchini and corn O'Brien. You can also, what's great with this dish is if you want, once you get this part done, you can make an egg custard and bake it like a, like a quiche. It's actually quite good that way, too. A little bit of corn. Did you try it? No. Oh, well, you should try it. I've been slave all night long making this stuff just so you can say, oh, that looks good. I want you to eat it. Yeah, put it in there. Well, I don't think I'll just spoon it out and put it in my mouth. Well, if you have to do that, I have some napkins for you. So the next piece is I just want to season it, and seasoning is really up to you. If you are, you know, looking for have a low sodium diet, you don't need to put this in. You could put a little bit of uh, lemon zest, or uh, or skip it all together and just use pepper and other spices. So I'm just going to put probably about a half a teaspoon in, a pinch of cracked black pepper, and a pinch of cayenne pepper too. Because I'm from Louisiana, we like our cayenne pepper. I have some Tabasco here too, just for case you want that. So pretty simple, you can see. It took me all of about uh, three minutes to make it. It takes about 30 minutes to get all the other vegetables ready to go. And what's great, um, you know, if you want, you can always just leave this in the pan and um, break fresh eggs over it and let them fry in the pan and serve it up. Uh, That's great. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. We're going to start doing some uh, corn cakes back here, corn and zucchini cakes as well. If you come back later, I'll, I'll show you how to do that recipe. Okay. What's this? This is a, a, a zucchini gratin. So again, very simple, very easy to do. Um, you can let it just sit in the pan and get nice and uh, caramelized and toasty brown on it. It'll be great. The socialization, I lived back in the woods and 
this is my day out during the week, and I, so I like coming here and talking to all the vendors and actually finding out a lot of good information. We, I also I sell plants here mainly, but I also grow vegetables, and I can get a lot of answers about questions I have regarding my vegetable growing. Um, today is a basil flavor that comes from Pete's Greens. Um, the milk is all local from cows right down the road, and it's made in Groton, Vermont. Good to have students. They do all the work for you. Shred, grape. Yes. Uh, well, the golden zucchini and uh, all right. This is all-purpose flour. Um, so we we just it's it's uh, four cups of flour. Uh, AP flour, and then we have four cups of the uh, grated zucchini. And then we're going to add um, baking powder, and it's actually quite a bit of baking powder, about four table, four, five tablespoons full. But if, you're not a, if you don't like baking powder and you want to use like baking soda, you just need to t change the, the dairy products, like the buttermilk, something that's got a high acid content to it. And we have salt. That's about a tablespoon of salt. We have three quarters of a cup of sugar. And we're just gonna combine all those those things together. I just use my hand for that, but I also wear gloves, so you know if you wanna you might want to use a spoon. Uh, do I use a glove in the kitchen too? Uh, for things that we not that aren't going to get heated again, yes, we always wear gloves. So. Um, so that's our dry ingredients, and then our wet ingredients. We have eight eggs. So we'll we'll add the eggs, and then we're also going to add uh, to our eggs about um, just have my measuring spoons here. Thank you very much. Two and a third cups of heavy cream. And if you are on a diet or you want to use something uh, other than heavy cream, you can certainly do that with the same amount. You could substitute soy milk, yep. So we're just going to whisk all that together. And there's so many great farm fresh eggs around here today. Which is perfect use for those. Okay, this is from Julio. Oh, awesome! Thank you. And I think it's a little ice in there too. Thank you. So we just added our uh, whisk together our uh, eggs and our cream, and now we're going to put in quite a bit of butter. Does not look rich and entirely too uh, fattening. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we have some. Uh, this is some uh, stone ground uh, uh, heritage um, cornmeal, and we're going to add about a quart of water to it. And we're just going to give that a nice stir. Let that sit for a few minutes. We want it to cool down a bit before we add it to everything else. We use baking powder, and baking powder is a double acting baking powder, so heat and moisture will activate it, and both of them will activate it. So the heat of this would actually get it rising too quickly, so we do want to cool it down just a little bit. We're just going to let that set for a second. And you'll see how thick the corn, how quickly the corn cooks and how thick it gets. It looks like polenta, yes. So at this point, we can really add all of our dry and wet ingredients together. So we're going to put the zucchini in with the eggs and the cream.
while I'm doing that, I'm going to start heating up my good skillet. Really, I think cast iron is the best way to cook pancakes. I think they actually uh, will come out much better. Oh, none, none of my stainless steel ionized. Yaggedy, 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 yeah. So now we're going to add this in here. Stir it all together. We have a little indention in here, so we'll Don't you think this is the best farmers market in New England? I think it is. Red Yeah, the so if you uh, want it at this point, you know, these are fairly sweet right now. And you, they make a great like breakfast um, uh, pancake. But if you wanted, you could add corn to it and some bell peppers and maybe even a little crab meat or shrimp or scallops to it and use it as a savory dish. It also at this point could be with a little bit more flour added to it. You could deep fry it and make fritters with it. So it's, uh, it's a pretty versatile and this is the zucchini gratin, and this is vegan. This is not. Oh, okay. I'll take the bag. <laughs> Thanks. I was really excited when I came here and I saw that there were artisanal cheeses and things like that. We didn't really have a lot of that an hour from here, so I was really excited to be able to get fresh food and fresh produce and I know where it came from as well, um, especially from people, you know, just around here, you know, from Vermont, which is great. Um, the food quality is really good and the people are really great. <laughs> My favorite part about the market is blueberries. Maybe Alan's strawberries. Yeah, or those tasty sausages that Larry brings us in the morning. Actually, Larry might be my favorite part about the market. Something salumi. Yeah, Vermont salumi, they're good. I think, yeah, I think, I think Larry probably takes the cake though. The customers. There you go. Larry. Larry. So my favorite thing about the market is um, I see my favorite people every week. It's uh, it's not if I will, it's just uh, I will. I'll see my favorite people up here every week. So that's my favorite thing about the market.